Unique stories that define our state's character. Here's Kevin Mackey with this week's Montana Moment. Brought to you by Montana Chevy Dealers. A couple years ago, your Montana Moment featured a Wise River Ranch family that uses draft horses and sleds to feed their cattle. Well, now we're going back to Kirkpatrick Ranch, where the family and its crew are putting up hay for the winter. Here, old style work in ways that never went out of fashion. Kevin Mackey has our Montana Moment. On the Kirkpatrick Ranch, haying doesn't look much different than it did 100 years ago. No computerized tractors, no swathers, no balers. We stack all of our hay loose just like we have for ever. Dennis Kirkpatrick grew up stacking loose hay. His grandfather stacked loose hay on this place. He sees no reason to change. I've always liked the old ways. I just kind of wired that way, I guess. Besides, he says, it's cheaper and more efficient. We don't want to have to go borrow a lot of money to buy big tractors and balers and swathers. We don't carry a bank note on any of our, our equipment, and that's, that's a pretty big deal in this day and age. We get so much snow in the wintertime, it's, it's easier to feed like this. You know, we're able to use our horses doing it. And that's just beautiful, it's picturesque, and it's timeless. Used to be just about every rancher in the big hole harvested loose hay. But in the past few years, many, if not most, started baling their hay. They're feeding round bales, like these. In the conversion, the Kirkpatricks bought a lot of their neighbors' old equipment. The machinery that we've put together is what everybody else has been discarding. Old tractors are getting a new workout. We run International Cs, Hs, Ms, uh, they're all 40s, the earliest ones are probably late 50s. Putting up bales doesn't require the large haying crews needed to put up loose hay, and help is harder to get. Something changed in the last, especially the last 10 years, where we can't hardly even get high school kids that want to do it anymore, so it's, it's definitely made it more difficult for us. They were a little shorthanded this year, but the crew they have is a good one, like Ben, Ellen, Bonnie, and Claire, Scott, and Patsy. That's Leo on the buck break. There's Ellen with the mowing machine. The family harvests one crop of native grass hay and takes about 10 intensive work days to get it done. At 5,000 plus feet, hay here has a short growing season, so it's essential to work fast. We make hay while the sun shines, it, it, is, it is never more applicable than out here. Instead of using a swather, which crimps the hay for faster drying and puts it in a windrow, the Kirkpatricks use sickle mowers. Here's Troy Kirkpatrick on his sickle mower. Our mowers are the same as the swather, basically, except they're a lot more archaic and we don't condition our hay. It's just laid down flat in the swath. The mower is attached to the track and is operated by hydraulic power takeoff. The ranch has three to five sickle mowers running at the same time. Tyler Lindquist makes sure to keep his sickle sharp. They need to switch them out several times a day. And so it, it's a big job for a guy to just keep the sickles tended. Depending on the weather, that mowed hay is ready to be raked in a day or two. We use a, a wheel rake to uh, get it raked up into windrows and then come along with a buck rake. Buck rake started out being uh, powered by horses. And then as they learned to uh, turn them into more modern, they took a pickup and flipped it over and turned it around backwards so that the steering wheels are in the back and the, put duels in the front with a basket to push hay, it's just a sweep. The beaver slide is uniquely Montana. It was invented by Big Hole ranchers Herbert Armitage and David Stevens in 1908. The buck rake pushes the hay onto a basket at the foot of the beaver slide. There's a hoist truck or, or a winch on the side and it pulls that basket right up to the face of it and drops it into about a 20 foot square cage. David Bacon's job is to operate the hoist truck. When the cage is full, the crew just moves the beaver slide to a new location to build another stack. But before we get started on a new stack, we'll take a break for lunch. When we come back, we'll meet the ranch foreman and the artist who finds inspiration running a buck rake. This morning, American